you are watching Redicon. Ankle impediment uh, is usually a result, is a result from a previous ankle injury. Uh, it's abnormal osseous and soft tissue thickening of the sub, uh, and subacute or chronic situation and can cause a chronic ankle pain. We have the anterior lateral impingement, which is the most common and usually is resulting from entrapment of the soft tissue in the anterior lateral gutter. And it makes sense if you have a thickened, uh, healed or scarred ligament, there will be soft tissue entrapment at this region. So you have more soft tissue than it's supposed to be at that region, so you'll get chronic impingement and friction at this region following the sprain. So here is an example of a patient uh, who had a chronic injury coming with recurrent pain and instability. When we do the MRI, uh, there is a synovitis with the focal fluid collecting at the anterior lateral gutter with evidence of a very attenuated anterior talofibular ligament and some scarring tissue that's usually indicate uh, anterior lateral impingement. Somebody might say, oh, this is similar images to the anti acute uh, injury. The history here is very important to decide which one is which. Usually with the acute, you see lots of subcutaneous edema as well. Again, this is how we are going to see it in the sagittal images. Another patient can see a little bit fluid with a regular thickened anterior talofibular ligament indicating there is an, imp uh, an impingement. Posterior, uh, there are other type of impingement. There is anterior and posterior medial uh, Impingement, I'm not going to talk about them. I'm just, just going to move to the posterior ankle impingement. And usually, classically, we see a marrow edema at the ostrigonum or posterior talus or posterior tibia with synovitis or soft tissue swelling. We could see associated tenosynovitis of the flexor halus as long as it's passing at that area and thickening and edema of the posterior talofibular ligament. So there are multiple bony causes. It could be because of the prominent ostrigonum, a prominent posterior process of the talus, separated ostrigonum, or prominence of the posterior uh, distal uh, tibia. How we're, we're going to see that? We're going to see if there is an ostrigonum, we're going to see a bone marrow edema within the ostrigonum with surrounding fluid. Another case here, you can see the edema and there is thickening of the posterior talofibular ligament because it's attaching to the os or the posterior tibia, talus. Another case here, you can see bone marrow edema at the posterior talus and the adjacent superior posterior calcaneum with synovitis and fluid, as well as tenosynovitis of the flexor halus as longus. This is another example, prominent steatic process of the talus with surrounding flu fluid. Still, we have a long way to go. This video is presented in collaboration with Radicon Institute of Radiology. You are welcome to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell for updates. For more modules in radiology CMEs, please visit our website www.radicon.org.